So the basic idea is how we can create an exciting interactive uh, problem-based experience for students in order to engage them into the STEM education. So to this scope, we created the, the Cosmos Educational Toolkit, which uh, consists of a small Cosmos node, a mobile node that uh, the students can use to do experiments outdoor, and uh, they can also use it to collect measurements from uh, the IoT sensors in another environment, like uh, CO2 or temperature, humidity, and noise. You can see over here uh, our IoT nodes, which are based on the microcontroller, like Arduino. And we also created the software framework that is uh, web-based. And it is uh, very friendly for the teachers in order to run the experiments. And uh, alongside the, with uh, the teachers last summer, we also created the, uh, the actual educational content and uh, how the experiments can fit into the NGSA standards. And uh, besides the description of the experiment and uh, how the students can actually do it, they also provide some additional uh, educational material. So this is how the framework looks like. They just open a web page, and uh, for the moment we have like uh, 22 math labs, 15 science labs, and uh, 10 CS labs that apply from uh, grade 6 12. Then, this is an example of uh, the science lab page. So, uh, at grade 8, the students learn about ambient waves, so they can actually use a software defined, uh, an SDR, to capture these uh, ambient wave signals like FM and uh, hear like uh, the music in the computer. <laughs> Another example is like uh, signal and noise. So, the Students learn about interference or, or how like you can combine signals. So this is like an example where you can transmit uh, some uh, music and you see can see like uh, how the noise affects the actual signal. And also um, in the sensor side, the students learn about uh, the environment, the, as you saw in the video, the heat island effect or the CO, this, the CO2, or some uh, more about like. Uh, the biology. We have like heart rate sensors. So now let's look inside one of the experiments. So basically this is like from the actual classroom that the students uh, run with the experiment of uh, independent and dependent variables, which are like a uh, math. And to do that, we the students are like uh, using uh, the SDR to see how the, the, the strength of the signal is related uh, from the distance between the receiver and the transmitter or from other factors like uh, moving blockages or like uh, constant blockages like uh, the walls. And they can actually like see how this uh, affects. And they, they have like uh, two ways to run it, like either like indoor or outdoor, because they can also use uh, the walkie-talkies and they measure the distance. So it's like a fun activity for, for the students. So. Before we see the actual demo, I want to say that like uh, this semester we also participated and won like uh, one of uh, the ten teams of the competition with Verizon, and this is more like a next step to what we did uh, last summer. So we developed a software framework based on AR and VR that is in the form of uh, virtual rooms, and the students uh, visit each one of these virtual rooms in the concept of uh, the well-known uh, escape rooms. So the students were like a visual reality headset and collab they collaborate in order like to solve puzzles and escape uh, the room. And this is like the, ac the, ac the architecture looks like. We have a couple of students wearing the vibes. They communicate over the horizons. 5G link, go to the cloud, they synchronize. And we also have uh, some uh, video, VR st video streaming to tablets and uh, monitors inside the classroom in order like to part in order like all the students inside the classroom to participate in for this experience. So now we can see one example of uh, the toolkit. Yeah.
I brought today like a uh, mobile load which is with uh, the SDR. This is also like a touch screen. So why don't you see something? Here? Just one moment. It's fine, it's fine. It's fine? Well, I see it on the recording before. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's okay to call it on, sorry. Found? Found something? <laughs> you mean 5G projector? <laughs> no? You gave up? Can you see this? Uh, ah, sorry. Forgot to. <laughs> for yeah, I'm sorry? I like the, the anachronism of using two, three, and three points. Uh, makes everyone sound better. Yeah. <laughs> so the interface like pretty much easy. They have to go like to the bottom. <laughs> So get started. As you can see like in the math labs we have like several examples depending on the grade. So we can see like the same experiment. Sorry, let me check because I go on with this one look. So, yes, in the top we have like uh, all of the description, how this applies to the NGSA standards and what steps the students have to do. And uh, the teachers also provided how they think that this can be mapped onto the testbed. So, here, like the students can see, like uh, the actual signal strength, and they can use like either this walkie-talkies or the transmitter of the mobile. Mode. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, like I think it's okay. It's a feature. It's not a problem. Something wrong with the Bluetooth from yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> Let me change the Pluto <laughs> because one of them had an issue.
Pešiť si sa. Hop, ja. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so whenever I press, they can see that like, for instance, like now I'm transmitting on uh, channel 13. So you can see like it's not exactly in the center because we say over here like this is channel 14. So like the more I move like the students will see like so basically because the the center frequency is very, very low, I have to go like a bit far away. So <laughs> but this is the idea that the students have to measure like uh, the peak. This is an example of one of the experiments. And yes. <laughs> yeah, so, so again, I think that's like online. Those of you who are into the education mm -hmm. part, I think Panayotis can show this later in the break. And those of you who are local and do want to work with the teachers in the upcoming summer, so we'll have 10 teachers between Colombia and NYU. They'll be happy for ideas, for experiments to be used in their schools.